Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away. And we now got stages 41 to 44 of the Centauri and Panini Collections release of Build the Ferrari F40. Okay, this was filmed live to the Patreons on Wednesday night, and believe me, it was a complete car crash. So what you're about to see is all the things the Patreons didn't see because I used different cameras. Uh, you are going to notice there's a hell of a lot of edits and there's a, little, a hell of a lot of jump cuts in this because things went so wrong, and it mainly involves issue 44. Now, I already knew that there was going to be some parts missing in issue 44, and for that, we had to use some parts that we received from issue 38. So I'm hoping the cut that you're going to see now will show you how to get by with issue 44. Bear it in mind, there are con continuity errors all over the place. You're going to even see my T-shirt change, because I'm wearing the, uh, the painted T-shirt, and now I'm wearing a jumper. Oh, it's a mess. But hopefully, this video will make sense. I have put pictures on the screen, so you can see what I'm working on that will hopefully make things tied over. But uh, that's enough of me talking. Let's check this out. Without further ado, let's get cracking. Issue 41, we're going to be working on the frame. Now, I am going to be going into the centerfold there. So in the centerfold, we've got the Ferrari 410S, another black and white picture looking like that. Uh, but we haven't really got much to do. We've got a frame to put in, and we've got some uh, uh, hinges or brackets to put four on each side. That's all we've got to do. But let's show you what that frame looks like. This, whoops, breaking things, is the frame. And it's metal, and it's heavy, and this is what we're eventually going to be mounting the steering to. Now, as I said, issue 44 where we're mounting the steering has got issues. And we also got these brackets here, which I'm going to take out. Now, these brackets have one side which has got a slight raised section on them. Slight raised, I don't know if you can see that. And the other side's completely flat. That's important because they need to go on the uh, bracket here a certain way. So, this way round, pointing towards this end here so this is going to go on like that it's going to be held in with h screws now we're going into metal with this so i am going to be uh plastering this with uh with oil just like that and they actually go in from this side which is going to be a little bit fiddly so start this up and there we go that's the first one in making sure that's completely lined up now it looks like the next few packs are gonna need just this section we're working on that section as a matter of fact i don't actually need any oil in this this is quite uh they're going in really well that's the second one so once again, these larger parts here are pointing towards this section just here. Just double checking that I'm putting them in right. Because you know me, I'd have to take them all out again afterwards. Okay, we've got two at the bottom here. Again, making sure the larger sections are pointing in the same direction. That's that one in. And finally, the last one, again, I don't know why they have to be in that way. I'm sure there's a reason. Perhaps we've got a bracket going between them. I don't know. But when that's done, that should look just like that. We're going to be doing the same on the other side here. This time, making sure that the, uh, uh, the large sections, again, are pointing towards the back. So, on this way... The larger sections here are pointing in that direction. And on this way, the large section here are pointing in that direction. And that's all there is to do in that stage. <music> Issue 42. I'm going to turn to the centerfold and we've got the Ferrari 315S with a dash and the Ferrari 290S. So there's two Two vehicles here, nice black and white ones here. A bit of a light sheen on there, but that's what that looks like. And in this one, we're going to be working on um, some of these radiator and pipe hoses here. And we're going to be mounting that 
to the frame that we just worked on. Not a lot to do at all in issue 42. This is what the radiator is going to start looking like with this great grill on the top there. I do like that. And then we've got these pipes. So, first thing we're going to do, I'll get all these pipes out. Bring this section over again. And it's basically this. As you can see, we've got four holes at the bottom here are going to go over these four lugs in this section here. So that's going to fit on top just like that. Now it's going to be secured down with some of the H screws and they're secured in from the top. So we're certainly uh, building this up. There we go. That's the first one. Three more. There's that one. And there's the fourth one. Put that to one side because we're going to be working on this pipe work now. We've got this bit of pipe and this section here is the thermostat. So where we've got these two holes here, we want to put these two lugs in to match that up. So that's just going to go in like this. No glue, just push, push in. And you can tell that because that is never coming out again afterwards at all. And then on this section now, as you can see uh, on this section here, we've got two little pins. And that is going to be going into the section that we could just see there. So we're going to push them in. Make that tight. And then this peg here is going to fit into that top one like that. So it's a quick way to make some pipes. But with that and that, that was issue 42 complete. In issue 43, on the centre we've got the Ferrari 315S, which looks just like that. And in this one, we're going to be attaching, or we're going to be building the radiator. And very clever, they've got the, uh, the radiator here, is going to house the speaker, which I think is ingenious. So a uh, lot of electrics. This is probably going to be the hardest one of this pack to do. So this is what the radiator grill looks like just like that. Now we are going to be putting one of these covers or the fan case into here. Now we've got two and of course they are exactly the same size but one is labelled A and one is labelled B and it's the one we want is B and B being the first one is just going to go into here this way around like that. Now in the, in the image here they've got the B facing this way up so I'm going to put that in there. If that's wrong, I will change it later. Uh, but we have got a cover to put on that, which is the fan case cover. So I'm going to get this out as well. And that looks like that there. This is going to go just into the top, like, trying to figure out what way around it goes. It does go in that way, just like that. There. And that's going to be held in with T-screws, which are these silver ones here. And then this one in this side here. So we've got the, that's what it looks like from the back. That's what it looks like from the front. Now, things are gonna get funky now. So we've got the other one here. Now we do have a notch in this. I knew one of these had a notch. Now that is gonna make sure that we put that around about there at the moment. Now we're gonna take the second section here and lining up the notches, push those together so that lays flat. Then we're going to take the speaker and put that into both of those sections together this way round, making sure that's perfectly flat in there, just like this, push it all the way down. And once that's done, we can mount that to the radiator there and then put the case over the top here. But thread the wire through just like this. And then once you line that up, we're going to screw that in with the silver screws and just make sure they're completely tight. We're going to be bringing over the metal frame again because we're going to be mounting these pipes that we just worked on. Now, I'm trying to figure out how these go. <laughs> okay, so on this section here, we have got some little lugs. Matter of fact, we've got three of them. They're going to match what we've actually got on this section here. Now, the joy of it is trying to figure out in what way 
they match and I'm thinking it's that way there which it is so just seeing how these go in here we've got an indent on this section here which we're going to need to put one of the pipes in at the bottom and that should line up all the other ones that's one in two in and three in what we're going to do now is put this into here making sure this wire comes out the bottom and hopefully it should fit perfectly now so i'm pushing the wires into these sections here and then pushing this whole section here it's hard into this grill just move remove this uh screw i've got here Just like that, on both sides. That looks okay. And we'll try and get a screw in on these sides here. And believe me, I'm putting some force on that. So that's one side in. Again, I'll tighten that up afterwards. Same on the second side here. that's gone in okay and then the bottom ones <laughs> that's the radiator in and that's all there is to do in that stage okay issue 44 we can't get on with issue 44 because basically they've sent us some parts now if you look at the magazine here um, part number two three m4 I believe five as well they haven't sent us and the reason they haven't sent us that is because they've changed the way they're doing the steering so they have some parts for the steering they've already sent us i think they were from parts 38 which look kind of like these two parts here which is a pinion and a bracket now the way these go on i think from issue 48 looks like this i'm going to show you a picture on the screen and if I go like that, I can move it around. But there we go. So as you can see, they're the parts that they're asking us to put in from issue 48. And if I scroll in here, they want us to put a bracket in. Then this sort of like pinion section here will be going on top of the rack, which is going in. Now you see why we can't do this because these have already got the, uh, the suspension and brake discs already mounted to this, but they haven't asked us to do that yet. Uh, and then we're going to be putting the actual rack on top of that pinion. Uh, and I don't quite know what holds that down. All of this is redundant because we, we're not using that, that sort of steering mechanism. So we don't do anything here, but this section we do. This is where we start to put things in. So there's no reason we can't do this little bit here and then add on the bit they want us to do in issue 48. That's what I'm intending to do. Whether that works or not is another thing. So the way they've got this, let me think. They've got this bracket here first will go in this way into these two holes as you can see just like that now that will enable when we put the pinion end in just to sit in it and it sits through the hole there just like that then we're going to have the rack eventually is going to go over the top of this now that the rack rests on these two points here and here so when this is in there's nothing holding this in at the moment but that's going to go in kind of like oh let's get this in that there so as you can see when i turn this it's going to make that go left and right now that's what i think they're hinting at in stage 48 the trouble is there's nothing holding this in place at the moment because we haven't put any of the suspension on here uh, what we can do though is we can put the uh the rubber the rubber grommets or the rubber stoppers they've got on it so we've got them here and they look like this now we've got a short one here which is going to go on the rack side and then the longer one here is going to be going on the other side and that goes this way round and that's going to go on there not too worried about it falling out at the moment we've got two of these to put in now just checking they're the same size which they are they're just going to go into the ends here these bits are the easy ones and they're going to be held in with b screws which i've got here here's the second one 
there we go that one's in so that looks like that and then I guess the oh no that's not in let's try that again why didn't that one go in there it is now so let's try that again so this one is going to go over the top where that's resting and it will go in ugh, get in there like that when I've sprang the wheels up so then that is going to be able to turn oh look at that like that <laughs> I demonstrated a little bit there now we have got uh, one more little piece here looking like that I'm just looking where that goes that goes just underneath this section here so I will put that in and it's held in with an eye screw which uh, I've got here and I'm believing that we're going to have a little lug on the bottom that's going to help line that up which it does it's going to be a bit tricky because I've put all of these bits in now but uh, <laughs> I can still take them out as you can see so I'll put this little bit in here God, this is tiny it's very tiny it's going to go in this way put the eye screw down the top so this is the pinion and the rack and obviously this is going to fit over the top and it's just going to rock in there like that but we can't actually attach that properly yet because obviously we haven't put the suspension on here but that as you can see is all done with that little piece that i had to put into the end just into that section there but it looks just like that a bit fiddly i mean it's hard anyway but when the instructions make no sense and the stock that you've got make no sense at all it makes it a little bit more difficult anyway listen that's me for the weekend I've got a birthday weekend in london this weekend so i can't wait as a matter of fact i'm off to harry potter studios tonight so that's going to be absolutely brilliant other than that have yourself a good weekend i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe take care